We were down to the final four at the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championship. The players left standing were the six-time winner, defending champion and Swiss legends. The world number one and number one seed seeking a fifth Dubai title. The most consistent player on the ATP Tour this year, hoping to reach a third consecutive Dubai final. And the precociously talented 18-year-old and highest placed teenager in the Emirates ATP Tour rankings. First up was the semi-final between the old maestro Roger Federer and Croatian Borna Cioric, who was seeking to make a maiden ATP 500 final. In a battle of the master against the apprentice, it was Federer who started the brighter. After his early finish in the quarterfinals, Federer said he'd have to do his homework on Cioric, and the study session looked like it was paying off. Goes right in on the net, cut down the angles. Cioric was aiming to be the first lucky loser to reach a final on the ATP Tour since Marcel Granola's in 2010. But after 27 minutes, he'd have to do it the hard way. Federer won set in front. After breaking Cioric's opening service of the second set, the defending champion was looking in command. There's a crispness about everything is doing all of a sudden. The occasion looked to be proving too much for Cioric, as the world number two continued to dominate. Oh, 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 oh. That is amazing. And in just 56 minutes, Federer had wrapped up a straight sets victory and advanced to his ninth Dubai final. The master has given the young man a lesson. Thankfully, I was playing well. I believe I could have served maybe a, a tiny bit better, um, but I was returning well and uh, able to keep the ball in play um, pretty well in, in windy conditions. And so, overall, I'm, I'm very pleased with my performance today. The other semi final matchup pitted four time Dubai champion Novak Djokovic against number four seed Thomas Burdick. It was a 20th career meeting between the pair, and Burdick might have wanted to look away from the stat sheet, having recorded just two victories against the world number one. And Djokovic began the match on fire. After breaking Burdick's first service game, he continued to arrow in the winners. Burdick was having to produce some incredible shots just to try and win a game. Well done, Burdick. Because he must feel as if he's a puppet. And Djokovic is pulling the strings. But it wasn't enough as Djokovic struck 12 winners to stroll the first set six love. Djokovic. Then out of nowhere, Nolly showed he was human after all, as Burdick broke the world number one. The one-way traffic of earlier in the match was a thing of the past, and the match would go to a decider. Burdick has the second set, would you believe it? The final set went with serve until the match turned on its head in a fifth game. Too good. The number four seed did make Djokovic serve it out himself, though. But the serve was up to the task to book a dream final showdown with his old nemesis, Roger Federer. He's one of the biggest players ever to play the game, so uh, he's been playing some terrific tennis. I was watching him perform uh, of the week, and it's, it's going to be uh, hopefully a high quality final for, for the crowd and for us on the court. Be sure to join us tomorrow for the final of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championship. You won't want to miss it.